Hey guys, welcome to Compound Body once again today. Today, as you can see, I'm enjoying the lovely sunshine. Now, a little things that I want to get into actually, right? I want to talk about machine training and why it's not the best training or why I personally would not even recommend using certain machines. The only exception is the cables. And the reason for the cables is because it allows you to move in the three planes of moving up, down, back, forward, left, right. All right? Now, with that being said, machine training, a lot of persons say, oh, you know, they go to the gyms and the gyms say machine training is a great way to start off. This is how you can achieve results in the fastest time and to get the best results that you want. Lies. Absolute lies. Don't let them sell you the story. And I'm pretty sure the persons who made these machines knew of the diminishing qualities or of the ways in which the machine does not support the human body as a natural mechanism for movement. Because the body was made or designed to move. The body was not designed to isolate the muscles um, independently and to build your bicep different from your tricep, different from your shoulders, right? That's not how the body was designed. As you can see, the body was designed to perform certain movements. These movements are lift, carry. You can carry something, like your groceries. You can lift up an object. Maybe you're a construction worker, you lift up a large object. Your body was designed to squat like that. Right? That's how you sit. Your body was designed to lunge. Your body was designed to push. Your body was designed to pull. Right? These are the movements the body was designed to do. The body wasn't designed to build up a big bicep and the tricep is small or to build a big chest and the back muscles are weak. Your body naturally does movement and works in proportion and coordination to each other. This brings me to my next topic. The body, when you put the body into say for example a Smith machine or you use like a machine that isolates the muscle, what you're doing is actually you're diminishing the use of your stabilizers. What your stabilizers are, are the supporting muscles or the secondary muscles that are used in each exercise. For example, let's say you're squatting, the stabilizer would be the calf muscles as well as the erector spine or the back muscles and the core muscles. Right? These are stabilizers. If you're doing a bench press, the tricep as well as the front of the shoulder or the anterior deltoids, these would be your stabilizers. Stabilizers are your secondary muscle groups that are being used. Another thing is that when you use machines, because you are locked into position, you don't gain any balance. Your balance significantly suffers. Right? Um, you may see big muscles being grown, but you're, you have no balance, you have no coordination, you can't move. So, let's look at this for example, let's look at real life, let's look at real world situations. Let's say you're a construction worker, let's say you, you do a sport, or um, you're on the street, someone attacks you, um, you wish to get away, or something like that. Now, <laughs> if someone pushes me, I'm not locked into any machine, my body has to respond. I do not know the amount of weight or force the person is going to push with, right? My brain doesn't calculate and say, okay, this person is 200 pounds. What you're going to do is stand here and you're going to push 200 pounds. Once you have completed the push for 200 pounds, you would have successfully moved this person away from you. Your body doesn't work like that, guys. Your body, when someone pushes you, your, your muscles and your body moves, right? You either step left, you step right. You balance, you coordinate, right? Now, are you getting the picture of what I'm saying? Why machine training is not the best? Because your, it doesn't help to teach your body or to gain the experience in any of these um, ways of training. So, I would actually recommend to you other forms of training such as cables, landmine exercises, barbells, dumbbells, medicine ball, exercise ball, all these types or forms of or incorporation into your workout are better than just using machines that go up and down or just back and forward. This does not help your body, does not help movement, it's not great for athletes, not great for everyday movement. And another important point that I want to mention is over time significant um, using machines it what it will do is actually to damage your joints. 
for example let's say a lot of persons use the leg extension machine it actually damages the knee over time a lot of persons um, use various machines it damages the joints people please stop using the machines learn the correct movements learn the techniques of using free weights and using your own body weight this is the best thing that I could ever tell you to do and it's the best advice as well as um, way of thinking and the thing that you could do for yourself for your future all right guys look great feel great be great and I want you to perform greatly so just make sure to like share comment subscribe eat sleep lift play and have a great day